What's up guys and welcome back to another video, hope you're all doing well today. Now today's video is something that I get asked very very often in comments and while streaming and that is when to be sitting versus standing in the game. Now I'm just going to throw it out there before we even get into any of the scenarios that there is no one size fits all with this game. There's some corners where you want to stand up and sit down at various points throughout it. There's some that maybe are a little bit counterproductive than you'd expect where standing up works better than sitting down and as you kind of progress through the game and you get more and more hours under your belt you'll kind of work out in your own head as well what's best in which scenario just based on how the bike moves and how the bike feels but I'm going to do my very very best in this to go through more some of the cookie cutter scenarios so when you should 100% sit, should 100% stand and just give you one or two scenarios where it might look a little bit different for you guys to try out. So I hope it's helpful for you and I hope you enjoy. So let's get the nice easy stuff out of the way first of all. So in an ideal world, a general rule of thumb, you'd want to treat it like IRL really where sit down in corners, stand up on basically everywhere else. That, that could be a good rule of thumb. However, it's not quite as simple as that. So I'm going to split this in two parts into rough tracks versus smooth tracks and then you can kind of take it from there and go okay this corner's smooth I'll sit down this corner's rough I'll stand up and so on and so forth so if you're on a track like forest for example I you could generally get around the entire track without getting your bum out of the seat you could sit down absolutely everywhere the track is completely smooth even the last corner before the finish line where there's a little bit of chop and a little bit of rough going into there you can still sit down going in there wide open with very very little possibility of crashing so that is the first rule if it is smooth sit down if it is super super rough then stand up ideally it depends on how fast you're going jumps are kind of a bit of a gray area because a lot of people just stand up over jumps i personally like to sit down when i get near the top of the lip of a jump because i feel like it soaks the bike up into me and it's essentially a, another way of scrubbing without going super super sideways you kind of go more forwards than you do up in the air so you should see footage in the background now that i've hopefully recorded of going up to the face of a jump standing up for the most part but then just near the top i'll be sitting down and then just as i get off the lip of the jump as well I'll stand up again and I've also found that if you're someone for example that struggles bringing whips back have you tried sitting down at the same time as bringing them back because for whatever reason I find that I'll kind of sit down at the start of the whip stand up to let the back end come out from underneath me and then I'll sit down again and more often than not it does help bring the bike back a little bit quicker so experiment with that there. Now if the track is particularly rough you do want to be standing more than you're sitting and even weirder on this game is if you have ruts that have a, just a tiny bit of a hook in them, if it's not a perfectly smooth 180 turn or a 90 turn, if it almost feels like you could turn the corner in two different parts, if you're sat down and you hit that hook in the corner, majority of the time, nine times out of 10, the bike will try standing itself up again. So these are the parts where, especially recently, I've tried standing up more and more and for whatever reason the bike seems to absorb that hook a lot better and will just keep you just a lot more stable and tracking through the rut. One really really good example to practice this on is on the track Baja Brawl made by Huron. There is one corner that's got a really bad kick or a bad hook in it halfway around and if you stand up the whole way even though it's a super tight inside line, which is very counterproductive, it feels really smooth and fluid and it just kind of helps you around the rest of the track. You know, you don't want to be going into some corners wondering what the bike's going to do underneath you because uh, then you're just going to be tiptoeing the entire time. You want to be flowing, you want to feel smooth. And this also applies to tracks once they've eroded a bit. If you're in a super, super deep rut that's eroded throughout the course of a race, and you've sat down through it most laps and you start getting those weird little like front end twitches or if it feels like maybe you're dragging a foot peg on the inside of the corner again again try standing up completely the whole way through it will feel very weird at first because the leaning of the bike changes whether you're sitting or where you're standing i think when you're standing up it's a little bit less responsive 
but it feels like it's harder to get the bike back up straight. So just experiment with it, even mess around on flat tracks as well, standing up around the entire track and see how it goes. One person that comes to mind, for example, Finn, he's a very, very fast 250 rider, has majority of the fastest laps on all the GP tracks this year. And I don't think he's even got the sit button bound to his controller. He stands up absolutely everywhere. And I would genuinely say, if you're in doubt of whether you should be sitting in a corner or standing, standing majority of the time is the best way to go. The tracks where it's probably a little bit helpless for me to try and like give any advice on whether to sit or stand is more so the sand tracks on this game. Those tracks that just have constant rollers around the entirety of the track. You could be safe and just stand up everywhere. That would be the sensible thing to do. But I'm trying to speak from my own experience in trying to go, let's quote unquote, pro speed is if you see my controller overlay while I'm going around a track like Sardinia, for example, I'm constantly sitting, standing, sitting, standing over and over again to try and keep my bike down to the floor and just moving forwards to keep that momentum going. Because if you stand up too much, you're not really going to be able to soak up the bumps as much as you'd like to. You're not manipulating the bike enough. And you might find yourself just bouncing off of them rather than absorbing them. There's always a very, very fine line on sand tracks. So if you are maybe a little bit not too sure, not confident enough yet, then either just stay away from the sand tracks for now until you get a bit more, a few more hours under your belt, a little bit more ability, or I would say just play it safe and stand up everywhere rather than sitting down at all. That's probably the best bet that you have on the really, really rough tracks like Sardinia. One thing that I don't think many people consider as well is even whoops in Supercross. You'd expect that you just stand up, lean off the back of the bike, and in an ideal world it would get through. Unfortunately we're not in an ideal world, we are in Poboso's world, so that isn't always the case. Now a lot of the whoop sections in this year's aerial Supercross tracks, the best way that I've found of getting through them, oddly enough, is to sit down and lean forwards at the very very beginning and then once the bike is settled on top of the whoops, that's when you then stand up and lean back. The reason being is I find we come into these whoops with so much speed and where the first two whoops are lower than the rest, it can be quite easy for as soon as you hit that third whoop, your bike just to pop up and then as soon as your front wheel misses one of them, that's it, it's game over, you go into the shadow realm. So I like to sit down and lean forwards going into them because I feel like that pushes my front wheel down into the ground, keeps me on top of them rather than in them. And then from that point, I can stand up and either say central on the bike or lean back on the bike and just modulate it from there. Do not sit down after those first two whoops because, again, it will be game over. But just, again, something that I don't think many people consider when it comes to sitting versus standing. Well, I hope that's helped you out in one way or another or shone a little bit of light on some scenarios that maybe you've been struggling with previously. Unfortunately, as I said at the very beginning, there is no easy answer. Like Every single corner and jump is different and a lot of it comes down to just experience and how the bike feels and how it handles. And it could even be based on line choice. You could move over a foot to the left or to the right on one track and maybe sitting down would then be more effective than standing up depending on how rough it is. And I always, always, always encourage people to just put the time in, go into testing. If you have a corner where the bike's kind of skipping about too much, your front end tucks, your back end skips out, you're feeling a little bit too bouncy, go into the replay mode, slow it down, see what's happening, and just experiment with things. Try sitting down one lap, try standing up the next lap, try standing up going into it, and then sitting down once you get into the rut, and there's all sorts of variations. But like I said, I hope this helped. It's been asked over and over again on the channel recently, so I thought it was about time that I tried helping you guys out. That'll do it from me. Please do drop a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I do greatly appreciate it. Have a lovely rest of the day, wherever you're up to, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.